Let's talk about Johnny and Clyde. Let's talk about Johnny and Clyde. <laughs> uh, you know, it was, it was, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> you, you getting the same problem? No, I'm just laughing. Oh, you're <laughs> I'm keeping that Everybody in. Everybody up lately. Um, it's hey, it's a more it, it's it, it, it's a cameo, uh, as we said, and and it's a beautiful part. Yeah, I mean, she's a serious journalist. She she's coming for answers, and it, it's kind of cool the way that it. You know, I start out the movie, and you assume that I'm going to be an important character, and yeah, there's a nice little twist, and yeah, I I just thought I I liked. It, it it was so sort of, I, I really, it, it was interesting to see the finished movie actually, because I think I didn't quite have the vision that the filmmakers had. So it was really quite, quite, uh, quite a surprise and quite a visual feast to, to watch the finished product. Cause I, you know, I think I, I shot on the second day of production and I couldn't, you know, you couldn't really get a complete sense of what, you know, how this whole thing was going to play out. Uh, but I had a blast and I, and I got to, to work with this company in Rhode Island, who I've since worked with twice on two other movies and they were so great. And, and it's, oh, it's almost like they have a repertory company and they work with the same people. And it's just, it's like a family. It feels like this Italian family actually, because <laughs> most of them are Italian and uh, they're so warm. And so it, it's, it's just, it was one of the best the the three movies I've done with this with the, with this production company have been really wonderful experiences. So I feel very very lucky. Uh, in, in advice to you know actresses coming up, mm -hmm. um, would you advise young actors and actresses you know to to weigh you know kind of those parts before you pass them because they're too small? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's no small parts, right? I mean, you, you can, you can, first of all, as, as a young actor, you can learn so much being on a set. I mean, because usually, you know, when I started studying, it's on stage. And when I was first on a set, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know how to hit a mark without looking down. So there's even just that technical things you can learn. And you're going to meet a whole group of people. And you're going to learn. I mean, I don't think you should turn anything down unless it's like, you know, there's some kind of personal, you know, I mean, obviously it just it feels inappropriate or you're just not comfortable with some aspect of it. Obviously, you, you know, you pass. But I think, I mean, I've I've learned so much from every job that I've ever done. And, and you don't even know what that lesson's going to be. You know, it's not necessarily the obvious thing, but, you know, it, it's a, it's a, a, collaborative art form right so you you know so there's so many people I actually wish that I had paid more attention earlier in my career because I I love uh photography and lighting and I wish I'd you know I've worked with some amazing DPs over the years and I wish I had paid a little bit more attention to the process of you know of setting up a shot and, and the lighting because you know usually as an actor you 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 sort of take a break when they're setting up, but I actually, you know, you can you can just learn so much from a movie set and in every department, and I think it's it's invaluable. Would you uh, want to hop behind a camera and direct now? I don't know. I mean, I've I've always felt like I don't have the personality for it because uh, I get really overwhelmed quickly and I'm very sensitive. So I feel like you know, there's so I mean, the director has so many hats that he has to wear or that she has to wear. And I mean, I probably would be better than I think, you know, I probably don't give myself enough credit, but, but I still, you know, I still love being in front of the camera. So but I probably, I would say I probably would steer more towards wanting to be a DP or something because I just love the, the visual uh, aspect of making movies. Wow. I, I, you know, the thing is that I, I know a lot of actresses like uh, Beth Reesgraf comes to mind, who's uh, mm -hmm. series Leverage Redemption. And yeah, she used to, uh, you know, say, well, I want to direct at least one. Let me direct one scene and and mm -hmm. learn that way because she wouldn't screw up a whole movie. She just screw up one scene, you know. That's <laughs> right. 
Yeah, no, actually, that's not a bad idea. I mean, I, I've, you know, I've helped people with scenes, you know, and other actors, like, you know, for like audition purposes. So I feel like I could, you know, I would definitely have value coming in as, you know, for the acting part of it. But I, you know, I don't, I, I don't know whether it, it's just, it, it's like really you're sort of like the, the leader of this tribe, right? <laughs> and I've, I've, I've just never felt like a, I've just never had those sort of leadership, like uh, I've never felt like I've had leadership qualities, but. But, but you do, you're like mama on the set. You're, you're, you're people go to you for you know, <laughs> advice and, you know. yeah. You know what, Tony, that's really true. And I, I think I, I haven't really recognized that. And I, I actually, the last two movie, two or three movies I've done, it was with some younger actors. And I realized, you know, I'm the seasoned one on the set. I'm the older one. I'm the veteran, which is so strange because there's still a part of me, I can't speak for other people, obviously, that feels like that that 18 year old girl that was coming on a set and I had no idea what I was doing and I was looking up to everybody else. And there's still a little part of, of me, of that girl that's inside me and feels like I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, when I start talking to young actors on sets or, or wherever, I realized that I really, you know, I do have a, a lot of experience and a lot to share and a lot of advice. So it's, I think I, I need to sort of own that more now at this stage. Yeah, of my you do, life. because I think, I think what it is, is it's, it's this imposter syndrome. Yes. That you think you have, but you don't because you know what you need to know. I, I was just talking to a friend last night about this. Like I, I said, I have imposter syndrome. I literally feel like sometimes like, I shouldn't be here that I'm going to get found out. And I mean, this is not something I should probably be confessing on, on, on a podcast, but, but, you know, but I mean, yeah, listen, we're all human. We all have our, we all have our, uh, you know, sense of what our weaknesses are, but yeah, I mean, that's actually been part of my journey the last few years. My life has changed so much in so many ways. And I think that, you know, it, it's really about owning your maturity and being able to be the mature woman and not the, the girl that ran me for so long and still and still runs certain parts of my life. And so that's been like a, a big sort of life learning curve. Uh, yeah, and, and, and the role in Johnny and Clyde is is is, is very mature. mature. Yeah. And and suits you very well. In fact, your costumes. Uh, <laughs> suit you too. I know, like in a suit, like, oh my gosh, she's not in like jeans or a flowy skirt. <laughs> Or a bikini. <laughs> yes, well, there's that. Yeah, yeah. No, it was. It's really nice to play. A, you know, sort of a you know s more seriously dressed woman. It, it was. It's. It's not. I mean, I love playing all different types of characters because that's the beauty of acting, right? You sort of get to step into the fantasy of being whoever that person is. What do you think audiences are going to take away from Johnny and Clyde? Um. Well, I think I think they're going to be quite shocked and surprised. I mean, it, it's a it's a wild ride, right? It's I mean, it's very very visually stimulating. I, I think it's 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 fun. I mean, I I don't you know obviously there's a dark comedic aspect to it. It's not. Uh, it, it's it's interesting the way that it blended so many genres together. Really, you know, because it's a heist movie, but it's dark comedy. It's uh, action. It's it's it. I mean, Megan's character is, is, is quite funny in it sometimes, right? Yeah. So it, it, it takes lots of twists and turns in it, and it's visually so stimulating that I, I, you know, hopefully people really, really enjoy it. What is what is Megan like? She she's a, a, she, a, she was great. I mean, she I, I, we shot actually in September of 2021, and she had just come from do, uh, the uh, the MTV Music Awards, and it was she'd won this like. <laughs> really like outrageous dress or something. And so she was getting a lot of like attention at that point. So it was, it was, it was very sort of like, you know, careful, like don't, don't let anybody know where you are. And it was, there was, you know, and so, so, so I, I sensed from her, there was uh, a lot going on that she was handling, but she was, you know, beautifully professional and, uh, and very, you know, actually, you know, we had a table read but I couldn't really tell exactly what she was gonna do when we're actually shooting it. And she really surprised me uh, when we were actually working together. We had a very, very good chemistry. Like we had a very good chemistry. It was like, it, you know, when you sort of, it felt like you're playing a tennis game or something. And it was, 
and and she was funnier in a way more sort of you know and, and not not funny like obviously but you know that's she she brought something very interesting to it that I wasn't expecting so that 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 was wonderful well like you she she recognized and and knows her character yes she did oh she came onto the set very very prepared yeah very very prepared now, so, you're yeah, no, it was... your family in in Rhode Island again yes good that's good <laughs> <laughs> you're always laughing at me I don't know I forgot you you make me you make me joyous you make oh. you you fill me with with uh with good feelings, that's what it is. It's not. That's, that's I'm because sorry. we're best I came off like that, but no, I. I that's because you know, I adore you, Tony. Well, I I adore you too. We're best buddies, and and uh, if I had, uh, I, well, I have a sister. That's you. So there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 